Hello, this is an I Am Glee Hollywood. The dress for this day is Sabrina's ball gown, well, Audrey Hepburn's ball gown from the movie Sabrina. It's a divine piece of evening goodness, let me tell you. A uh, slightly controversial story. Edith Head was going to design all of the gowns, all of the clothes for Sabrina. Audrey Hepburn, who'd recently starred in Roman Holiday and been a huge hit, was yet to win the Oscar, but still just hovering on that massive stardom, suggested to Billy Wilder, the director, that it would be nice if she could wear a real Paris dress when she came back from Paris, when she was transformed. Edith Head was not that happy about this situation, but she let it go because she thought there'd be a way to work out the problem. Uh, now, rumour, urban legend, etc. has it that Billy Wilder's wife sent Audrey Hepburn to uh, Balenciaga's studio. He was too busy designing his collection. He sent her to Hubert de Givenchy. And this begins a match made in heaven from a costuming point of view. Um, he also was too busy to design specifically for her, but he let her look through his previous collections. She found what she wanted, she took it back with her, she wore it, and the rest is history. The ball gown is a, a strapless, it's a straight sheath of a dress with a sort of uh, peacock-like skirt that um, clips around by a belt. It's a sort of organza, satin, tulle, it's quite a stiff thing and it must have carried a lot of weight to it, to wear. Um, I also admire Audrey's absolute panache in being, to, being able to arrange the dress whilst seated at the top of a tennis umpire's stand. Anyhow, um, for some strange reason, and I've got no idea why, when I first saw this film I imagined the dress was very pale pink with deeper hot pink embroidery all over it. I don't know why. Anyhow, I had no idea what colour it really was. It was a black and white film. Found out years later I was too wrong and it was black and white. I have seen the dress in real life. It is no let down. It is a gorgeous dress. Edith Head won the best costume design for this film and she didn't tell anybody that most of the clothes were done by Givenchy and apparently he was too much of a gentleman to say anything else. It has all come out subsequently but Edith Head.